Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Friday. We made it to Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, guys, I made a post yesterday on my community tab. And I was basically saying, like, God doesn't change the way he feel about you because you made a mistake. And that is so powerful. And I feel like sometimes we beat ourselves up more. God already forgave us for whatever we did. It's forgiven. What happened yesterday, the day before yesterday, last month, last week, is already forgiven. Especially if you confess with the tongue. It's forgiven. And sometimes people like to hold stuff over our heads, stuff that we do, stuff that we say. But at the end of the day, what we do, what God, what matters the most is what, how God feel about us. Like what man feel about us, it doesn't matter. You are forgiven. You are forgiven. Confess with your tongue, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I know I did so-and-so yesterday, Father God. But I ask that you forgive me, Father God, Jesus. And change my ways, Lord. Change my wicked ways, Father God. You're forgiven. Just like that. Just like that. That's the type of God that we have. He's so forgiving. He's so merciful. He's so wonderful. He's so gracious. He's just loving. He's peaceful. You know, and I just be like, you know, God, thank you. Sometimes you just, I'm just so thankful for that alone, just for forgiveness. For forgiveness. I have, I have to repent 777 times a day. I mean, I'm constantly praying. And, I, and, I, and God convicts me right away when I do something. I'm convicted right away. Right away. Like, mm, you should go back and apologize about that. Or you should never said it like that. Or you should never even thought that. So I have to go. I have to apologize right away. I've got to forgive me right away. And I know some of you guys can relate. Some of you guys who went to prison, you did some things. You sold drugs. You you harmed someone. You robbed somebody. You know, you cheated on somebody. You you, you hurt your spouse. You hurt your mama. Your daddy. You know, you are forgiven. All you have to do is ask God to forgive you. And yes, it's easy for other people to point their fingers at you, at you. It's easy for people to talk about you and keep bringing up the things you did yesterday. It was yesterday. It was last week. It was last year. It was five, 10 years ago. It's easy for people to bring those things back up. But my God, the type of God that we serve to just forgive us, Father God. Just forgive me, Jesus, for things that I do. Some things, some things I sin and I don't even know I be sinning. Have you ever been in that situation? That's why I say, God, forgive me for this, for the, the seen and unseen sins, Father God. Cause it could be a thought I had in my mind that could have been a sin that I don't know is a sin. It could be something that I did or, you know, it's just like, Father God, help me. I'm not perfect. I'm still walking with God. I, I, I can say I do things every single day that is not pleasing of God, but it's not going to shut my mouth up about who he is. That's the thing. The world wants you to shut up about who God is. They want you to be quiet because, oh, you don't live a holy life. Oh, you don't go to church every day. Oh, you twerk. Oh, you may have a sip of wine. Oh, you may smoke a little blunt. You may smoke a black and mouth here and there. Oh, you may do this. You may do that. The world, you're going to be quiet because you know that you already sin. So you don't want to tell people about God because you know you're a sinner. But God used people where they are. And that's the beautiful thing about God. I don't care where you are in life. He uses people right where you are. Because maybe somebody else is in the same place you are and they need some encouragement to know that God still loves you. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you just did last night, no matter who you just robbed yesterday, no matter how the world keep pointing fingers at you because you did something 20 years ago, God still loves you today and he forgives you today. And that's just where I'm in in life. That's where I'm at at life because what my heart, my heart is what matters. Well, how God sees my heart is what matters and that's what he blesses. So rather how the other world look at me, how people may judge me, how people may say this, that, and the third, I'm already forgiven. And God is not going to change the way he loves me because I made a mistake. He's not going to change the way he loves me because I did this or I did that. He's not going to change the way he looks at me. I'm still the apple of his eye. I'm still his child. He's not going to change that. So whoever's beating themselves up this morning about a mistake they made, or maybe your kids had to go to foster care or something, is somebody watching this video right now? 
And you have been beating yourself up about some choices that you had to make in that moment because you had to make it. Just know that you are forgiven. Just repent with your tongue. Ask, ask the people that you hurt for forgiveness if you have to. But you are forgiven. And God don't look at you no differently. You deserve his love and blessings just like the next man. You deserve abundance, abundance of blessings just like the next man. You deserve grace like the next man. You deserve glory like the next man. You deserve mercy like the next man. You are no different than me. I am no different than you. God loves you no matter what you do. No matter how you do it, he loves you. He, he could use a crackhead on the corner. God will use whoever to touch his people. So... That's just how I feel about it. Just know that your mistake does not change the way he feels about you. And Lord knows we make mistakes every single day. But Lord, he loves us so much. And guess what? Another thing, too, when we do something and God convicts you or, or you feel bad about it, you know it was wrong, it's because he loves you. When God stopped poking at you, when he stopped making you feel bad about something, when he stopped convicting you, that's when you should worry. But if, he, if he's still poking and like you feel bad about a decision you made or you feel convicted, he loves you. He just wants you to do right. He just wants you to see where you messed up at. He wants you to see your flaws. You know, he's a God of being honest. Being honest is a beautiful thing. Admitting when you're wrong is a beautiful thing. And that's what God requires from us. To be honest, be forthcoming, because he already know our life anyway. You can't hide from him. You can hide from everybody else. You can put on his shield and the, you can put on all these looks for other people. But from God, you can't hide from that. He see your heart. He know what your mind thinking. He know what your heart feels like, what it's what it's look, what a pump like. He know every little fiber of hair on your, he know everything about you. So, I hope that you guys feel encouraged this morning because I sure do. I'm encouraged just because I know I is a God that sits high and looks low and he forgives me for anything that I have done. As long as he know my heart, that's, I've already won. I've already won the battle. I've already won the victory. As long as he knows my heart, he knows my heart. Even when y'all get up here and talk about me like a dog. God knows my heart, and that's where my blessings come from. He knows what I've did. It's where my blessings come from. He knows what I'm, where I'm headed. That's where my blessings come from. So y'all see me five seconds doing something, whatever, twerking, dancing, cussing, da 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 da. And Lord knows, I know cussing ain't right, and I'm still working on that. But He still knows my heart, and my heart is pure. It's just pure. My heart is just pure. And I ain't even got, and that's just what it is. It's just, I am just who I am. And I know how to confess with my tongue. And Father God, forgive me. So, all right, y'all. We better get our Friday started. We are headed out of town today. Me and my baby. He off today because it's supposed to rain. But we already packed our bag. We about to go head to Virginia. Virginia, Virginia. I'm so happy because we need a break. So I see you guys in my Virginia vlog. So y'all stay tuned. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great, great Friday. As long as you know that God loves you no matter where you at. And he going to use you no matter where you at. See you guys later. Love you, love you, love you a long time.